if you are burnt out and you are thinking about stepping away from something that you've created, it's okay to allow some breathing room. When I decided to step away from social media, I had a lot of fear. The numbers would just drop. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about my social media journey, how I started, how that impacted my everyday life, and what ultimately led me to take a step away from social media. And during that time of over 30 days, what I learned and how it impacted me now, how I'm better for it. So if you're new here, my name is Susanna Friesen. I make Christian content on Instagram and TikTok. What I do primarily over there is I read scripture and I talk about what it means and how to apply it to our everyday lives. I don't really enjoy TikTok anymore, if I'm being honest. I think I'll just post there for the sake of posting because I edit in there anyway, like with music and everything. However, if you want more behind the scenes of my everyday life and more engagement, please check out my Instagram. That is where I am most of the time. So my first video on TikTok that was directed towards Christian content was April 5th, 2023. That first video, I wasn't expecting this to be something I did long term. I was just making a video about The Chosen, but it got received so well. At least for me, it got 2,400 views. After watching The Chosen, I got really, really passionate about Christ. And I thought, you know what? I want to start sharing the gospel. I don't care who it reaches. I just want to share how God has changed my life. So I posted that video. And then on April 7th, this is where I post my first encouraging video video on TikTok. I made a Good Friday video and that was when this journey started. At this point, I was posting at least once a day, but sometimes even twice a day. And my whole content creation journey has been full of ups and downs, but I tried to post everything you could imagine that would fit under my niche. And some things did well and some things didn't do well. But overall, I grew relatively quickly. My first viralish video was posted on April 22nd, 2023. It only got 118,000 views, but for me and my little TikTok channel, that was huge. I didn't have many followers at this point. I think I had a few hundred, but that was it. And then that just kept growing. I remember it was a Sunday and I was at church and instead of focusing on God, I was focusing on, I wonder how many views my video has now. That should have been my first red flag about where my intentions were. I kept posting, I kept playing with the algorithm, and then my first actual viral video went viral on May 25th, 2023. This one got 943,000 views. I found what worked. I'm known for bedtime Bible verses, and it was Proverbs 3 verse 24, which says, you can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. So I would say the verse and then I would encourage everyone after that, basically saying, don't be afraid. God's got you. You have nothing to fear. And as long as you have God in your life, you can kick the devil to the curb. That's kind of the basis of what I was posting. And so after that, I started only posting sit down talking videos where I encourage people with the word of God. And that was how my accounts grew. I did that consistently for over a year up until July 26. In this time, I grew over 400,000 followers on TikTok. I've lost some because I stopped posting. And on Instagram, I grew to 158,000 followers. You don't see that kind of growth Ever. It really showed that if you are doing something for God, God will see you through. Now that we have the background of my content creation journey, I'm going to tell you why I decided to stop posting. So in this time of content creation of this year and a half of making content, I became so burnt out. I had to constantly check myself because God was not being at the center of everything. It did appear like God was at the center, but my heart was on the numbers, on the engagement, on what this could get me me instead of what I could do for God. Fast forward to July of 2024 and it got to the point where I would set my camera up and literally have nothing to say unless it was like scripted out. If I just had no plan and I set the camera up and got everything ready and sat down and tried to talk, literally nothing would come out of my mouth. So I would get frustrated. My heart would be full of anger. And at this point, I knew that it was time for me to take a break. So that's when I decided to post this video. Hey friends, so I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been posting less lately. I haven't been getting spiritually fed myself for a while. And that means I don't have much to say. I turn on the camera and I'm not sure what to say anymore. And so that to me is an indication that it's time for me to step back from social media 
took a break from making videos and focus on my own faith. So I posted that video and a lot of you guys were so encouraging and I'm so thankful to have you guys as part of my social media family and I'm glad to be back. I saw this post by Clearly Stated that she posted on her Instagram while I was taking this break and I really need to share it with you guys because it hit home with me so hard and it says, what if honoring God where you are looks more like pausing than producing. And I asked myself this question, what if honoring God looks more like me pausing posting, pausing creating content, pausing social media in general? Instead of producing so much like I was, convinced I was honoring God with what I was doing. It might have looked like that from the outside in, but inwardly, in my soul, in my heart, in my spirit, I was not honoring God. The second part of this post says, when his favor is on it, growth still happens without your hands touching it. When I decided to step away from social media, I had a lot of fear and I feel like that's really normal, especially with a following of my size. I was worried that if I stopped posting, the numbers would just drop. They would plummet. I would lose followers, but that wasn't enough to make me stay and make content. I still decided to take a step back and this proved that when God's focus is on it, growth still happens because I didn't lose many followers. I kind of stayed the same. I was at like 156,000 or less when I stopped posting. And then while I was away, one of my old videos blew up again and I got a lot of followers still. What I was fearful of did not happen. God's favor was still on it because even though I wasn't producing and encouraging other people, I was filling my own cup so then at the end of the day, I could come back and fill others. My hands were off of it. God's hands were on and he took care of me during that period while I was away. It's such a testimony of God's faithfulness and provision and I'm just so thankful to the Lord because he proved to me that he is there. He was in it with me and I wasn't alone. The third and last part of this post says allowing breathing room reveals trust in the one who gave it life from the start. This just spoke truth into me because when I took a step back, I allowed breathing room. First of all, didn't post at all besides on my stories. Took breathing room for myself. Let myself just be present in the moment and enjoy life and enjoy God's presence and seek that. It helped me trust in God more because he showed me he was providing. He showed me he was in it with me, like I said. God is the one who gave it life from the start because as I mentioned earlier in the video, he grew my platform exponentially fast. I'm a little nobody and he gave it life from the start because I was honoring him with where I was at. So if you are thinking about doing something, if you are burnt out and you are thinking about stepping away from something that you've created and spent a lot of time on, it's okay to allow some breathing room. It's okay to take a step back and to pause rather than produce because doing both, pausing is also honoring God just as much as producing was. It's just a matter of where you are in that moment. So I took a step away from social media Media. What happened during that time? I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but what I spent time doing more of was getting in the word and Bible studying for me, for myself, not for content ideas, not to find something to post about that day, but for my own heart and my own spirit. I was filling my cup and that hasn't happened for a really long time. Another thing that I had more time to do was go to workout classes and prioritize my health and my fitness. I go to three workout classes a week. It's called Rhythm and Beats and it's really fun. It's like our own little spin class. So fun. Whereas before I was more consumed with making social media content and everything like that, I have a very one-track mind. If I have something I'm thinking about, that's all I think about. That's all I'm able to focus on. That's all I'm able to put my energy into. So when I took that passion away. When I surrendered that to God, I had more time to do other things and it was nice to be able to get into new routines. I started taking supplements where before I would get so sidetracked that I'd forget and I was deficient in a lot of things. I also found new hobbies. I had a passion to start new things. I tried to teach myself how to play violin. That lasted one day, might I add. Why would I pick the most difficult instrument to learn. I don't even know how to play any other string instruments and I pick up the violin, but that's still something I want to do. I just need a good teacher. If I hadn't taken a break from posting on social media, I wouldn't have even had that thought. I wouldn't have even allowed myself to get bored enough to want to learn something new. I also experimented with new recipes. I read more books and I did a lot of things I was procrastinating doing. I set up this whole like filming backdrop, which before 
you watch my videos, I never had a designated space to film with good lighting, a somewhat decent background. Whereas now I actually took the time to set up something decent. I went through a lot of things. I went through some clothes. I donated some clothes. I cleaned. I joined a Bible study group that meets every Thursday evening on Zoom. We're reading the Bible in chronological order, which is so cool. Before I wouldn't have had time to do that. And I actually spent more time taking care of myself, doing hair oiling, making sure I'm nourishing my body with good foods and just physically taking care of myself, which has been something I've been neglecting for a while. So that is why I took a break from social media and that's what happened during my time away. And I really hope this encourages you guys to pause rather than produce if that's what God is calling you to do because sometimes taking a step back is what our souls need to feel refreshed and renewed and to have our cups filled again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I have so many video ideas to do over here on YouTube and I'm really happy to have you with me. If you like lifestyle vlogs with Faith Incorporated in there, just to see a different side of me that you wouldn't typically see on Instagram or TikTok, please join me. I would love to have you. I'm so happy you're here watching this video. Give it a like if you like this video and if you decide to take a step back from doing something that is making you feel a little bit burnt out, taking you away from God, leave it in the comments. I would love to know what you're going to surrender to God and to pause from. God bless you all and until next time. Mm -hmm.